Hi folks, these fusion cam challenges are getting out of hand. It's actually only the second one. Look at this. I think that was made on a Daytron. I mean, beautiful. Um, awesome, I don't know that individual, but whatever he's doing, God bless you, rock on. We're gonna throw our hat into the ring. Let's see if we can machine the fusion part on the empty space of this 10 cent coin. As an American, I can't deface American currency, but Euro currency is fair game. So, in fusion, it's in the workshops and events, contests, Fusion Cam Challenge. Open this guy up. So while we've got a space that I think is about 150 thousandths of an inch, let's see um, if we can make that work. Hit I on your keyboard and you'll see that is three inches right now. Modify, scale, entities is this guy. I want 0.15 divided by three inches. That's gonna scale her down. Click OK, zoom in, and boom. Diameter is now 0.15, that's easy enough. Hop into cam, and if you take a look though, uh, we're gonna use a diamond drag tool, and I'm gonna do it on this side. I don't think we're gonna be able to get that Autodesk text because this is so freaking small, but let's give it a shot. And we're gonna use a diamond drag tool from Tormach. I love it, and well, we'll see how it works. I want all my geometry on the same plane. You can see here we've got this F that's got 3D contours, this pattern here, this or pocket here, ring here, and the text, they're all different heights. So hop back into model, construct, offset plane. Select a plane that I want it to be offset from. I'm just gonna click this guy right here, and it doesn't tell you this, but you can now click a point and I'm just gonna click this top point right, say, here. I swear this should work. Let's try it again. Construct, offset plane. There it goes, see that, isn't that glitchy? It's weird. So now I've got a plane at the top of the part. Click OK. P for project. Select a plane, we wanna pick the plane we just made. And now I can click the stuff I wanna project. The easy way to do that, one, two, and we're done. We've got everything I want. In fact, I can turn off the body. Oh, actually, good catch. I don't have the um, inlets here. So turn it back on, click on that, this, and that. Turn my body off, Autodesk reads fine. We got the F, rock and roll. Go back into cam. 2D, actually I gotta do a setup. The Z axis is gonna be, select Z axis plane, it'll be this. I wanna flip my X axis, so I'll click on the stem of the Y, that rotates my X. So I've got a good coordinate system now. I don't really care about my stock for this. 2D trace, geometry. I'm gonna turn off my body here. It makes it easier to pick it all. One, two, three. Uh, I wish I could window select this stuff. This is really small. We'll see how it goes though. Got to pick a tool. Um, I well here we'll model it up. It would be a chamfer mill, one flute, point two five with no tip. Okay, and there's my tool path. Set over the machine. Some three M double sided tape. This might not work well. We'll find out. Is it gonna have enough strength radially to hold that part on there? While we're here, the beauty of the diamond drag tool is you don't have to worry about height variations because it's a spring-loaded tool. That's really helpful uh, when you're trying to do super, super fine engraving or engraving on a non-flat surface. 
So that's actually, you know, that's actually pretty rigid. I can move it, but that's with a pretty high amount of side wall, side load force. So let's give this a shot. It's really small. Here she is. Let's take a closer look. Can't quite make out the Autodesk logo. Pretty cool though. You can zoom in, you can see the way that the uh, diamond drag tool scribes or scores the material. So it does push it away. You can see those slight edges, but again, we're talking about a really tiny piece. I'll stick this uh, 1 32nd end mill in there and you can just see how tall, small that is. Hope you guys enjoyed. I thought that was kind of fun, pretty quick, and uh, it doesn't look half bad. The tape actually did fine for what it is. I love entrepreneurship. One of my sayings is always fail fast and fail cheap. It only costs us 10 cents. Take care, folks. See you soon.